Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure a reverse shell in Linux machine. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is a reverse shell? So actually a reverse shell is actually a script or executable program that makes it possible to gain interactive shell to a remote system okay so actually a lot of uh, hackers use it to send commands to a compromised system so you will find that in the internet okay but system administrator can also use it for legal things like uh, service administration for example okay so how, how it works so simply a reverse shell actually the target initiated a connection while the user or a hacker listen to incoming connection on a specific port so when this actually connection is established he gains access to that machine so in order to show you that I'll be using here my Kali Linux so here as you can see I am on the shell of my Kali Linux so let's presume that we are actually a hacker or system administrator that I want remote access to another machine so as I told you the first thing is actually to listen on this client machine to a specific port so there are a lot of things that we can do that but we can listen to a specific port using just the netcat command so i will use this command here and c for netcat minus l so here l for listening actually and here i have to specify minus p for the port so you can listen on any port you want just make sure it's not used by another service so let's for example that we want to listen to this specific port 1337 okay and we hit enter so now this client is listening on that specific port and the specific port must be actually used on the target machine in order to initiate a connection so we have to remember this specific port so now let's go to the other machine and try to initiate this connection and then we will return to this Kali Linux and see what happens okay so let's say that we want to gain access to for example this Ubuntu machine here so in order to actually gain access to this uh, machine here as I told you we have to initiate a connection so in order to initiate a connection on a Linux machine there are a lot of tools a lot of languages that we can do that we can do that using for example PHP so we can send actually a web page using PHP in order to this machine to initiate the connection we can use Python of course which is a very very famous language we can use Ruby also we can use Java or Perl but on most of Linux machine as you may know the bash shell is there so we'll be using just the bash shell in order to initiate a connection so I will type here simple command in order to initiate a connection to our client so I will use here bash command minus I for uh, actually interactive shell and I will pipe it to the hyper sign okay then I have to specify here device TCP slash then the IP address of our client machine so remember in our case it's Kali Linux so let's call it for example a hacker so here we have to specify the IP address of the client so my Kali Linux has an IP address 192.168.1.19 so here I'm using that on my local network but of course 
if you have a public actually IP address and you want to initiate this connection you can do that so if the other client has public IP address you can use it here then slash then here we have to specify the famous port that we have done on my listener in Kali Linux so remember it was one one three three seven okay then zero then I pipe that to hypersign once again one so with this simple command we can initiate actually a connection to our client which is in our case Kali Linux which has the IP address of that one that 19 so of course before to do that you must test the connectivity between your here your Ubuntu server in your Kali Linux machine so I will hit enter here we go so now the connection is initiated so let's return back to our Kali Linux and see what happened there so remember in Kali Linux we actually listening to the specific port so let's go here we go so you can see that actually the shell has appeared here this is the shell of our Ubuntu server as you can see here so here now I gained access to shell in the other machine so I can do whatever I want so for example who am I in order to test that so here you can see that I am Amina I can see the IP address of the Ubuntu server here we go so here you can see the IP address of the other machine that one that three but here actually we are using shell inside our Kali Linux machine and of course the other commands like you name minus a in order to see the configuration or the kernel version of my Ubuntu server so as I told you larv hackers use reverse shell in order to gain access to remote system and in order to send malicious code or something like that so pay attention to actually use this reverse share for legal things not for uh, something bad for example for server administration if you have your local network you can use reverse shell in order to get shell to other remote system in your network okay so that was just a brief uh, actually video about reverse shell how to set it up in a Linux machine so here I used as a client Kali Linux and as a server actually Ubuntu server as you can see here as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye